Students at Sifton Elementary School are working in teams to solve a series of puzzles. Each team must use a broad range of academic and teamwork skills to find the clues necessary to open a series of locks and find the hidden treasure inside their team's puzzle box. Teacher librarian Jennifer Moe and fifth grade teacher Linda Campbell wanted to use project-based learning to supplement their instruction about famous explorers. And it incorporates, um, you know, like social studies uh, curriculum. It also incorporates some reading, like some research skills. So they had to look at glossaries and, um, and go find their page that they needed to in the books. It had some math skills on the back. Um, it had a lot of cooperative learning stuff, so they had to work together. They had to learn problem solve. How do they overcome like uh, those hardships? How do they work together as a group? Make decisions as a group, and then also that collaborative celebration, like they accomplish something together. To open one lock, students need to solve several math problems. To open another lock. Students need to use reading comprehension skills to solve a crossword puzzle that will reveal the combination. To solve yet another puzzle, students had to navigate a series of Google Maps using their laptop computers. But it's not just academic skills at work. Students are getting a glimpse of what it will be like in middle school, high school, and beyond as they learn to work as a team. Maybe instead of the O, it's a U. Well, the students, they get to work together, which really helps them stay engaged. And they all bring different skill sets. Someone may be stronger at math or comprehension or these different critical thinking skills that they bring to the table. So they each get to shine in their own way. So they get to add to the whole project, which is great. And I could hear that. I was listening to the kids like, oh, hey, can you look at my work? I know you're great at math or, oh, wait, look over here. I'm thinking this way. And so they really were able to bounce ideas off each other. Maybe we probably missed something. Oh, yeah, let's try the work Fifth grade teacher Chris Costello says this type of project-based learning will help him tailor his instruction to the needs of individual students. The hard part is, though, is not is going in there and wanting to correct them right away because you want to, you know, a lot of the learning comes from them trying to figure it out and kind of get a little frustrated and kind of, you know, and try to figure out what they did wrong for themselves. But then, yes, that is also a chance to take mental notes and to look and see, okay, what can I work on when I get back with them in class. Students who haven't had a chance to use the puzzle boxes will soon enough. Other lessons using these boxes are already in the works at other schools around the district. The prize for solving all of the puzzles and opening the final box? A treasure chest of chocolate coins for students to share.